So, I think we can all agree the electric BCS is awesome and tons of fun. And crimping cover crops is awesome and tons of fun. And it occurred to me, because I had some cover crops growing inside, not that greenhouse, but another one, and I thought, oh, it'd be really nice to crimp them, but none of the tractors fit. But wait a minute. This hitch here that already existed, and that hitch here that already existed, all they were missing was a couple of these. Let's give it a shot. So, <clears throat> I wouldn't say that that was the easiest thing ever to hitch, but works out okay. Bushings that you can't see are hidden in there. They're making up the difference between three quarter inch shaft and this one is bored for inch and an eighth. So there's enough space in there that it needs a bushing and uh, but also easy enough to make one and you know it's it's stable now so it shouldn't fall over or anything. Yeah looks promising. If I sit down on the shaft, get my feet up. Zoom, zoom. Whoa. Important not to fall off. So, yeah. Obviously, it needs a seat, but uh, I think I'll put a seat on it. All right, there's a seat on it. But the uh, first thing I noticed, just driving it to this end of the shop, is uh, it's really heavy. You know, the, this roller maybe. I don't know, let's figure there's three, four hundred pounds of steel in it, and it's full of water, and I did the math, and it's like 250, 270 kilos, it's like 650 pounds of water, so yeah, it's like a thousand pound crimper roller, and uh, it really makes, really makes the BCS work, uh, which is cool, but it can totally do it. And uh, so, I welded a post on with a seat on the post, and now we can go driving with the electric crimper roller.